<laughs> this guy was putting something in the back of his truck and he just took off on him. That's not nice. That's very mean. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back with uh, the Sephora box and the Sephora Play and the Ipsy bag. So next month, Ipsy, I ordered a whole bunch of their, um, like they have their point shop. So I ordered like three or four things from the point shop. I didn't know how many points I had. I had a lot of points, so, and I still have a lot left. So I had no idea. So these are the $10 boxes, bags, whatever you want to call them. Um, beauty subscriptions and um, I get asked quite frequently if if somebody wanted to get like a, a starter box or a $10 box or beauty subscription which one would I choose and usually back in the day I would have said Ips Ipsy but currently I would say Sephora so I mean it really just depends on what you like and the kind of stuff that's in you know in these subscriptions so it really just depends on you um, just do your homework and see which one comes out with the best. As for the $21 boxes, I normally would go to BoxyCharm just because they always have full sizes and you're always getting your money's worth. Um, however, Glossy Box does have good stuff in their boxes too, but um, for your money and the types of products that you get, uh, BoxyCharm I would say for $21. Anyway, let's get back into these $10 bags. <laughs> He's, I'm gonna get in trouble with him back there. <laughs> He's not supposed to be back there. Okay. All right, so here is the Sephora Play. Um, by the way, I kind of wish, why doesn't Sephora let you use their points online? You know, like if you're gonna purchase online, you should be able to give your points from the Play Box online and not just have to go to the store to claim them. That kind of sucks. I wish things were different that way because I don't tend to go to the store often. What do you want? I have a... I got somebody here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's not supposed to be in here with me, but he is. Hmm? My little hot dog. Are you handsome? He's so old. He loves looking out the window. No! He has stinky breath. Get down. He has really bad breath. <sighs> so this one says, make it snappy. I used to say that all the time. Make it snappy. All right, let's pull out the first thing. Oh, okay. So this is from Urban Decay. This is the Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. So it, I guess you could get multiple colors. Mine is like this baby pink with tons of glitter. Okay, so they have the shade you're holding is SPL. What does SPL mean? All the other ones have like Jawbreaker, Dirty Talk, Big Bang, Savage Bang, Snitch, Candy Flip, Obsessed, Back Talk, Naked, Gold Mine. So they have all these funky names, but SPL, what is that? Sephora Play maybe? I don't know. So I have, I don't know, what did I put on this morning? I forget. I think it was from Girlactic. It's some kind of brownish, nude brown color. I'm just going to throw this. I can tell you right now that um, I'm not into like the glitter. So I think it said something like, oh, it's super minty. And I can smell the mint. And it tastes minty too. Um, let's see, what does it say here? A sudden sparkle. An on trend iridescent lip gloss uh, that visually plumps while it moisturizes. Okay, so it has vitamin E and peppermint oil. And yeah, it smells, it says, um, this tea formula smells like vanilla mint. Okay, I agree. All right, next thing in here is from Dr. Dennis Gross, fight wrinkles while you sleep with um, ferulic and retinol. Wrinkle recovery peel. Okay, oh, there's two. I guess, is it wipes or cream? I think there are wipes in here. Okay, so yes, they are wipes, and you're supposed to put this on um, after you cleanse your face at night, wear it overnight. Um, after you cleanse, you let it dry and you put a moisturizer on. And of course it says to make sure you wear sunblock to protect your skin afterwards. So I will be using that. They have like a picture on here. It shows like somebody's forehead before and after. Hmm. I kind oh, after 14 days. And I was just, I was just gonna say, I kinda don't see much of a difference. I thought the before was better looking than the after, but you know, whatever. I don't have my glasses on either, but. So that is that. 
Next thing in the box is Makeup Forever Ultra High D Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen with SPF um, 25 is in here. Um, I normally don't tend to like, um, what do you call it, skin tints, but the last time I got a Makeup Forever product, I was actually at Sephora not too long ago and I was looking at their foundations, but I couldn't remember which shade it was that I had gotten in the box, and I really like that shade. I want to say it was 355 and I was going to buy it, and I don't know why I didn't. I should have just got it, um, but maybe I'll get it with um, the 15% off. My dog is going underneath the tripod. Okay, so this one looks extremely, extremely dark. You see how tan it is? I'm pretty sure that is definitely not going to be my shade. No, no, not my shade, not my shade. It's super tan. It's definitely too dark, but it does have a lot of pigment. Like for a skin tint, I think it has a lot of coverage. I don't know if it'll be like, um, since it's a tint and it has sunscreen and stuff like that, um, I'm not sure how how long it will last, if it'll just like come off or whatever. But um, I wonder if I can take this in and exchange it for a different shade. I'm not sure. Um, I saw on um, like the time that I got the Makeup Forever foundation sample that you could go to Sephora and ask them for a shade that was right for you. So. Okay, next in here, what is this? From Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. Ultra light moisturizer with vitamins, antioxidants, and natural oils. Okay, I'm always willing to try a new moisturizer. I'm all about skincare and finding new things. Um, I do have my, my favorites that I love and I always go back to, but I'm always open to trying new things. Okay, next is from Kiehl's. This is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate with hyaluronic acid so i know that hyaluronic acid is fantastic for fine lines because it holds a lot of water um, and moisture into your skin so really really great and like i said i would love skincare so um and so this box kind of looks like it's a skincare lover's dream there's tons of skincare in here um, anti-aging and then one well two makeup products so we have the High Fine um, Lip Gloss from Urban Decay, the perfume, I think that's always an extra, they will always give you a perfume, but it's not counted as one of the samples. Um, the Dr. Dennis Gross, um, what do you call that? The Retinol Face Wipes, um, a moisturizer, a skin tint, and this what, line reducing concentrate. So. Um, not a bad box. You know, 10 bucks. Eh, is it worth 10 bucks? I guess so. It's just okay. I mean, they're nice samples. They're nice to try, nice to have. All right, moving on to the Ipsy bag. All right, it did see people with their bags, and it was so cute. Look, they're little butterflies. Aren't they adorable with these little accent corners? Um, very, very cute. And it's got like a lavender back, but um, really cute bag this month. All right, this is going to be quick because Ipsy is always quick. Okay, we have another Visanti brush. This is like one of my favorite types of brushes, these thick, um, fluffy brushes here. These are really great. I love these just to blend out the edges here. Um, I guess you could even use it for um, packing on concealer or you can use it to put highlight on your cheeks. This one doesn't say exactly what it's for, does it? Oh, it says concealer buffer. Okay, so... Um, but I like to use these really big fluffy ones to like blend out the edges of my eyeshadow just to make sure um, that I don't have like a line or anything. It just kind of like blends really nicely. Um, as for concealer, I use a sponge, a beauty sponge, so. Okay, next is, this is from Aurora for all lip lovers. It says soft pink 24 hour lively lip stain. So um, this, it looks like a pink color here but let's see how it looks it's like a pinky purpley shade right there um hmm, i think i'll like it i have to try it out i just put that lip gloss on and i just don't feel like taking it off so but i am willing to try it and i really do like lip stains because they do last almost a whole day or mostly most of the day so that's always nice to get a good lip stain and it's like a felt tip marker oh man it's already dry look Oh, that's gonna be really nice okay and it doesn't feel like 
crunchy or anything like that since it's a stain. All right, next thing in here is from, I don't know how to say this, Why Why? Um, so it's a finishing cream and that's all that it says on here. I'm not even gonna attempt to try to read what it says. It just says finishing cream. And there's two of these Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Golden Eye Masks. So, you know, it's got, I guess they're golden. Um, but it's always nice to have um, eye masks. Those are always really nice. Um, I'm not so much with the face masks just because, I don't know, they're not comfortable to put on. And usually they burn my eyes. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but when I wear face masks, it burns my eyes, really. I don't know why, because I don't really have sensitive eyes, but whatever. Okay, and from Ofra, this is Blush Chameleon, using palettes and kits, blah, blah, blah. I just stuck my nail in it, okay. So, but it looks like a really, really pretty color. All right, so Ipsy was an okay bag too. I mean, it's not the best bag, but it's definitely not the worst bag either. So um, I'll use the eye patches. I really like the brush, the lippy for sure. I'm gonna use it. Um, the did I say the brush? Yes, I did. The blush. I'm excited to try the blush. I'm I love blushes. I use blushes and eyeshadows. I I'm addicted. And then this finishing cream. That's the dog. He wants to go out. So uh, yeah, nice bag. Uh, which one do I prefer? Hmm, that's a really hard one because the other one was full of skincare, which I love. And this one is, you know, it's got makeup products in here and hair products um, and some skin. So I, I do like this one, but I like the other one too. Um, it's They're both nice for different reasons. So I don't know. And I like this bag. This one's really cute too. So that is um, the Ipsy and Sephora Play. If you're not sure, I'm not sure right now for this month. I like them both. Um, like I said, it just depends on what you're interested in. So that's it. That's all I got for you for today. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.